Hey, what's up, guys? Here I am in Target, my local Target, right? Check this out. So we're in the boys' section, guys, boys' clothes section. I want to show you over here. This is the clothing we have for boys. Dinosaurs are cool, right? Those are a big rainbow. Dinosaurs are cool. I can confirm that. What's not cool is going to your Target to mine the fact that a t-shirt has a rainbow to appeal to the manosphere or the anti-wokers or whatever. That was not the entirety of it, by the way. I believe we have some more of this t-shirt panic. Dinosaurs are cool, right? Those are a big rainbow behind the dinosaur. We're not gonna stop there. We got a cloud, hula hooping with a rainbow. What's this? Trucks are cool, right? Picking up a rainbow. Why are we picking up a rainbow, guys? Why is this boy's clothing today? I'm not done. Like Baby Shark? Bye bye. There's masculinity, that's what they're doing. They're destroying masculinity. Guys, it's time to stand up against this wokeness. We need to stand up as parents and leaders and fathers. Like and follow for more. Yeah, so it really gave away the game at the end. All of this, this has just been content. Like and follow for more of me looking at little boys clothing and picking apart the design details. Francesca, you've had to buy clothing for a little kid. Have you been appalled at the wokeness on display in the t-shirt section? Mm -hmm. I've I've hit up every single hand-me-down that I've gotten. The person who sent it to me and I was like, wow, how dare you trying to emasculate my little daughter? Like, blue? Are you insane? Blue, <laughs> blue. Swear to God, just like, come on. First of all, yeah, you you said it right there, giving away the game. Like, oh, like and follow for more. Um, just like more takes of like me getting mad at like an oat milk in a Target. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, uh, apple slices. Oh, we're not strong enough. Like, what are you? Like, we can't cut our own apples. This is why kids are soft today. Like, whoa, well, God. Uh, and John, this is your beat, man, which is how is masculinity this fragile? If masculinity I, is this fragile, then like, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe it's actually just a prison and just made up anyway. Yeah, I like you're worried that guy, that that dude, I'll call him a dude. Um, That dude is worried that men are gonna be made weak. Yeah, how weak, buddy? Are they gonna be so weak that they spend their time filming videos of them critiquing t-shirts? Cuz that would be pretty weak. That would be a pathetic <laughs> state for <laughs> American masculinity to be in. What you just saw there was one of the latest iterations in the protests against Bud Light. And I thought that the dumbest form that they came in was people buying extra Bud Light to then shoot with their machine guns or whatever. But this is actually stupider because that guy was destroying Bush Light. Not Bud Light, they're not the same thing, they're different companies. It would be stupid if he was destroying someone else's Bud Light because he's gonna get arrested. But he didn't even destroy the Bud Light. In fact, since he wiped out their stock of Bush Light, he raised the odds that someone's gonna buy the Bud Light. So not the smartest people necessarily engaged in this protest. And that shouldn't be surprising. I will remind you what all of this started from. It was this, influencer Dylan Mulvaney being given like a promotional Bud Light with her face on it. I will, it would be deranged enough. This entire backlash, if they put Dylan Mulvaney on the can and sold it. I don't know why you'd freak out about that, but they certainly would. She is after all committing the unforgivable sin of existing as a trans person. That I, I feel the need to stress that. Dylan Mulvaney hasn't done anything. There's no scandal, there's no concern, there's no nothing. Just existing as a trans person is enough to get people to run to their like their their like stop and shop and then start destroying Bush Light. But they didn't even do that. It was one promotional thing. And that has led to people destroying stocks of various beers. Watch out, Shock Top, they're coming for you. Um, it's led to morons on the internet, like Benny Johnson saying the CEO of Budweiser is a CIA operative. So it's not like it's just not the same thing. Like it's not an op, you moron.
people work at different places. What would the goal be here for the CIA? What is the plan that ends with one promotional bottle of beer being sent to Dylan Mulvaney? I will remind all of you conservatives that if you guys hadn't freaked out about this, no one in America would even know that it had happened. Anyway, JR, it actually gets even crazier, but what do you think? That'll show them I'm gonna go up in the Walmart and start destroying beers. Then I'll get arrested. Now Bud Light will stop it. Where's, <laughs> where's the thought process? How does this really work out? As you said, you said it was Bush beer that he was destroying because he can't read. Bush Light. Is that what he yeah. threw out Bush Light? It was no Bud Lights in his in his destructive path. Are we serious? I this mean, is what this guy. We're assuming that he can read. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we're assuming wrong.